I have created for you an action that will make creating shadows really very simple. So to start with, you do need to have a layer with a layer mask. Now, if your layer doesn't have a layer mask, if for example, it's one of the PNGs from the wild animals pack, like this baby elephant, it's already cut out for you. So you do need to create a layer mask from this. So all you need to do is hover over the layers panel here, hold down command and click on the outside of your subject in that transparent area. When you've done that, it creates a selection. Now you just need to create a mask from that selection. So you go down to the mask button, hit it. Now you have a masked layer and it's exactly what you need to make this particular action work. So we're going to start with a baby elephant here. Now I am selecting this, select the layer that you want to work with and go to shadow magic in your actions panel and hit play. The first thing you'll see is that it's already created a shadow for you, but it's not quite in the exact position that you need it to be. You just need to hold down command or control on windows and resize and warp it. So that's what we're going to do now. Hit stop. Make sure you've got your transform tool selected. So the move tool up here and hit command or control and just move the feet to match approximately where the feet are sitting on your subject and then stretch this area out. So match it to the ground, match it to the perspective and the angle of the light. The light's sort of coming from over here more so. So we're going to spread this shadow out like that. Double click. You've done that. Press play. The next thing you need to do is add a grounding shadow. The grounding shadow will help make this more realistic again. Press stop, zoom in to your feet area. Make sure you've got a brush that is 80% hardness and just paint underneath the foot there. Nice and close. Don't worry if it looks too dark. You should be on 100% with your flow and opacity. The action will fix that up for you. So you're just getting it approximate at the moment. Press play. And there you go. Now the next bit is to adjust your shadow here so it looks more realistic. So it goes from sharp to soft. So the blurred shadow part. Paint with black on 0% hardness on the mask closest to the subject to reveal the sharp shadow and hide the blurred shadow. Okay, so we're going to zoom out, get our brush, change to 0% hardness, make sure the brush is nice and big and paint to remove the blurred shadow. Now you need to change the sharp shadow so you're getting rid of the sharp shadow further away from the elephant here and you're leaving it close to the elephant. So again, same thing, press stop, use the same brush, and just paint out that top area there so that it's revealing a softer shadow further away from your subject. Once you've done that, press play again. You have finished your shadow. You are done. Now you can amend these shadows and, you know, work them to fit exactly what you want, but this will make it really quick and simple for you to add a realistic shadow in all of your composites.